just want to give you a quick uh, video update of what's been happening um, for the channel. So January 1, Happy New Year's. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this year is filled with healthy activities, getting out on a bike, on a trail, uh, on the water. So, uh, as you can tell, uh, I've got myself a stand-up paddleboard. So, um, this is a rigid board, so it's obviously not an inflatable one. Um, yeah, I ended up buying, I've got off camera there, I've got the inflatable 10 foot 6 Kings, um, which does the job, that's fine. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, that, that's probably more better for suited for like lakes and um, you know, when you go camping where there's, um, you know, still water around. Um, inflatables are pretty much uh, only good for that sort of application, like smoother water, calmer water. Um, not for like beach environments, whereas your rigid board, um, that's, you know, more, more suited for, um, you know, obviously nothing huge, like not huge waves, but, um, you know, just, just a little bit of swell and, um, you know, coast down the wave sort of thing, which is what I'm hopefully going to get into, um, this year. Now I have only been four times, I think, on the, on the water. So I uh, absolutely love it. It's um, just so relaxing. And um, I've uh, got in contact with um, the Brisbane Stand Up Paddleboard um, group on Facebook and um, had my first paddle with them on the inflatable. A um, couple of Saturdays ago, I think it was. Gosh, everything's so fast these days. I can't keep up when it was, but it was, uh, yeah, Saturday, two or three weeks ago. So I'll put their link um, in the description down below. Great bunch of guys, um, you know, very easy going, um, very um, casual, you know. Um, they don't force anything upon you and um, yeah, just, just like-minded people um, with different walks of life. Just with, uh, you know, obviously one th common thing in, in uh, stand-up paddle warning. So uh, yeah, really, really cool. So. Um, yeah, I'll be joining their membership uh, hopefully today. So this board, um, it's a 10 foot 6. I'll probably put a couple of still photos up on the screen. Uh, 10 foot 6, rigid. Um, it's obviously got a 3 fin set up at the back. Um, 10 foot 6 seems to be really well, um, like a good balance for me. Um, when I was out on the water yesterday, we paddled um, I think it was not quite four and a half k's, um, which might sound like a lot, but really, um, it's not, it's like, it's so easy. Um, yeah, well, like once you do get your sea legs and you, you know, you get your stability right, um, there, there's no issues at all. Um, but for me, um, this board, um, really, really happy with it as far as my first bridge goes. I've actually just ordered some um, ceiling anchors with a pulley system so I can uh, raise and lower um, the stand-up paddleboard. I'm really limited for space in the garage, as you can tell. Um, got my camping gear, got my mountain bikes, um, you know, eskies, which I don't know why I've got those because I don't drink anymore. Uh, yeah, but it is a little bit limiting, so I'm going to have to put some um, pulleys up on the roof. But uh, yeah, been really, really happy with it. Um, bought myself another paddle. So I've got a carbon shaft with a pa uh, plastic um, blade, I think they call it. So I'm uh, very happy with that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this hobby won't get too out of control. Uh, like what I just said, I'm running out of room, so I can't really start collecting stand up paddle boards as much as I would like to. But um, Really happy with this 10 foot six. I think that's the good, uh, perfect length uh, for my, you know, body sort of thing. So, um, yeah, look, if anyone is wanting to give it a go, I, I definitely would highly recommend it because it's so relaxing and another form of meditation, like with your mountain biking. When you are mountain biking, that's what you're thinking about. So that's another form, good form of med meditation. Plus you're outdoors and um, you can't beat the outdoors. So uh, yeah, look, 
I just wanted to give a quick update in regards to what I've been up to. Uh, sort of taking a break from Instagram. I, um, I don't know, it just seems to get a bit robotic. You know, you wake up, you look at your screen, have a cup of coffee, look at your screen. Just seems to be like a repetitive um, notion sort of thing. So just having a bit of a break from socials at the moment. Still a messenger, um, uh, just on the chat there and occasionally checking the post from Brisbane subgroup. Um, but yeah, I don't really, um, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like how much I was spending on online, on social media, and uh, yeah, just wanted to limit that. So if anyone's trying to reach out, hit me up on Messenger. Uh, just another quick update in regards to hydration bladders. So I'm pro, um, Osprey hydration bladders. I love the setup. Uh, purely for the fact you've got a handle. You got this um, bit of a like rigid, uh, you know, uh, protect not protection like um, back. So that essentially would be on your back in your backpack. Um, you've got a sliding, uh, sliding. Uh, uh, what would you call that? Sliding lock, I suppose, um, for all your water and, and things like that. Really like that setup. I was actually um, uh, in the in preparation of going for a stand-up paddleboard a few weeks back and um, filled this up. And then when I put my backpack on, I was like, oh, gee, whiz, something's leaking. And I don't know if you can pick that up. This had actually started to um, separate and splinter. So that, that's where the leaks come from. So I got in contact with Osprey and they just basically said, look, um, send me a photo of, of what the issue is and they're gonna send through a replacement, um, no questions. So really good customer service, really, really good. Um, obviously a bit of a, um, uh, bit of a inconvenience because, you know, um, but everything has a shelf life and um, I'm really stoked that they are going to replace it for free. No questions asked. Um, yeah, not too sure why that's started to separate. Um, I've only ever really had um, water in here. So, um, as a comparison, I'm gonna drop in these over here. As a comparison, here's the Camelback. While it has this liner, there it is, where it has this liner, um, like surfboard, um, uh, wetsuit sort of material. <clears throat> I like the idea of this locking mechanism and this little bite tube protector. I like that. I just don't like this wheel. I just don't like that. And I don't like that for a handle. If you were to compare the two, like it's just like if, if you were to have that in a stream you could easily open up that scoop it up and ease of use whereas this one it's a bit more you know don't know I, I I'm just used to the um, the Osprey setup but while that one is being replaced um, I think it's due to arrive uh, maybe in the next week or two I don't know keep getting updates <clears throat> but um, while that one's being replaced I've just been using this one so this is a good backup but I definitely prefer the Osprey so yes anyway um, that's pretty much about it guys uh, just a really quick update keeping it below 10 minutes which is great um, and yes I will hopefully see you out in the trails or out in the water and uh, hope you're all well. All right, take it easy. See you around like a wheel. Cheers.